is. So part D. What is the height of the ball at a horizontal distance of 20 meters? In order to do the, this question, we need our original equation, which is h equals negative 1 over 16 d minus 28 d minus 28 squared plus 49 okay so what this question is asking us what is the height so what is h if the horizontal distance is 20 so if d which represents x in this question okay and we know our x axis is our horizontal distance so this is saying if d is 20 what is the height so if the horizontal distance is 20 what is the height so plug in 20 for d and solve for h if we go ahead and do that we get h equals negative 1 over 16 times 20 minus 28 squared plus 49 if you go ahead and solve that question, okay, remember your bed mass rules. Do the brackets first, then the exponent, then the multiplication, and then the addition. If you go ahead and do that, you will get the height to be 45 meters. Okay. Part E, find another horizontal distance when the height is the same as in part D. Okay. So in part D, we figured out that at a horizontal distance of 20, so you know, somewhere around here, the height is 45. If we remember that parabolas are symmetrical, this point over here should also be at a height of 45. So if eight points, if eight coordinates to the left of the vertex, the height is 45. Eight coordinates to the right of the vertex should also be 45 in height. So that point should be eight coordinates to the right of 28 is 36. So that should be 36, 45. Sorry, this is getting a little cluttered. But just one more time, the logic behind that is <clears throat> if eight points to the left of the vertex, the height is 45. Eight points to the right of the vertex, the height must also be 45 because parabolas are symmetrical. Okay? So, the answer to this one find another horizontal distance and the height is the same as in part D. So, at a horizontal distance of, what was it? 36. Of 36 meters the height is 45. Good. Okay. Last example. This graph shows the path of a rocket fired from the deck of a barge in Lake Ontario at a Canada Day fireworks display. It is a parabola where h is the height of the rocket above the water in meters and t is the time. Okay. So the axes are already labeled in this one. h is the height. Okay. Height is always the y-axis, okay? So we know that the y-axis is height, okay? And the x-axis this time is time instead of horizontal distance, okay? The x-axis can either be time or a horizontal distance. In this question, it's time, okay? So as time increases, the height of the rocket is going to change. It's going to go up at first, and then it's going to come back down, okay? So we know that the x-coordinate is always going to stand for the time, and the y coordinate in this case is going to stand for the height. Okay, that's a t, sorry, not an x. So I'll just write, I'll actually write time so we know that. So that's our time, and this is our height. Okay, so what is the maximum height reached by the rocket? So you see the word maximum, so you know it has something to do with the vertex. And you see height, so you know we're looking at the y coordinate of the vertex. The y coordinate of the vertex is 80. So the maximum height is 80 meters. This rocket will never go above 80 meters. Okay? So the maximum height is 80 meters. When did the rocket reach its maximum height? <coughs> so we see the word maximum. We know it's talking about um, the vertex again. And it's asking us when. 
when, that refers to time. So we can look at the x-coordinate, which in this case represents time. So at four seconds, it reaches its maximum height. After four seconds, the rocket is at its maximum height of 80 meters. This question also asks us what was the height of the rocket above the water when it was set off. So look back to the beginning. This point is labeled. When our time is zero, okay, it was set off when time was zero. The height is 1.6. Remember, that's our time. And the y coordinate is our height. Okay, so it was set off at a time of zero. The height was 1.6. So the height of the rocket above the water when it was set off was 1.6 meters. So for this question, for parts A to C, the graph shows us everything we would need to know. No calculations necessary, just interpreting what all of this means. Okay? So if this is the path of the rocket, it starts at 1.6 on the y-axis okay, when time is zero. So that means it was at a height of 1.6 meters when it was set off. It then goes up for four seconds. After four seconds, it has reached its maximum height of 80 and it then comes back down. Okay. Part D. Find an equation to describe the flight of the rocket in order to write the equation in vertex form. Okay. We know this is a vertex form question because we have the vertex and another point. Okay. So we're going to write it in vertex form. Okay. So find an equation. I know my my vertex was given to me. It's at 480. And the vertex is, we remember, h, k. Okay? Vertex is always h, k. And I also have another point on the parabola, 0, 1.6. So, and I have point at 0, 1.6. Any point on a parabola has an x and a y coordinate. In order to write the equation of the parabola, I need to sub in values for a, h, and k. I have h and k, but not a. I can use these four values to help solve for a if I plug them all in. So I'll go ahead and plug those all in. My y is 1.6. I don't know a. x is 0. Minus h is 4 plus k is 80. Go ahead and solve this. Brackets first. Then exponents. Negative 4 squared is 16. Okay. Now I want to get a by itself, so I'm going to move the 80 over. Instead of a times 16, I'm going to write it as 16 times a, because the order of multiplication doesn't matter. And we're more familiar seeing it this way. So I have negative 78.4 equals 16a. Get a by itself, divide everything by 16. And if I do that, I should get an a value, I believe, of about negative 4.9. Let me just go ahead and double check that for one sec. Yeah, okay, so that's negative 4.9. So I have my A, H, and K values, and that's what I need to write my final equation. So I can go ahead and do that. Let's do it in red. The final equation is Y equals negative 4.9. Oh, that doesn't look too nice y equals negative 4.9, that's better, x minus h, h is 4, squared, plus k, which is 80. There's my equation, and that is it for this lesson. Here's one more example if you want to try it. Okay, at home, give that a shot. I'll just scroll through the pages so you can give it a try. This is a factored form question. Okay. So if you want to try that one, 
you can just pause the video at this point and try that out. Okay. Um, the solutions are posted on first class of this lesson where we actually did solve question five. Um, tomorrow in class, we're going to be working on an assignment doing these type of application questions. So make sure that you have understood these ones so that when we work on the assignment, you'll be able to do those. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Thank you.